We are putting the spotlight on a local nursing home this week, and what that light reveals is disturbing. Last night here on News Channel 9, we heard from one resident at Van Dyne Center for Rehabilitation and Nursing who says she's been offered just one, one shower in four months and is almost never given assistance to get out of bed. Tonight, News Channel 9's Madison Moore brings you the story of an entire family who says the neglect goes beyond the walls of Van Dyne. A living nightmare. That's how Sherry describes the past five and a half years at Van Dyne. It's like a prison, but you ain't do the crime, but you got to do all this time. Sherry was placed in Van Dyne for short-term rehab in 2016, but her sister says things took a turn for the worse after she was moved to long-term nursing. She's supposed to be up very early before 8 a.m., um, and with that comes to getting her cleaned up from the night before and changed and into clean clothes. So that piece um, happens quite often where it doesn't happen. And my shower day is a Tuesday. And that hasn't happened for me for a couple of weeks now. Sherry and Debbie say the neglect has always been an issue, but the pandemic has only made it worse. Since visits were limited, Sherry's family feared she was being poorly treated, and those fears came true. Sometimes I'll get a call at 2 in the morning, and she'll say, I haven't been changed since 9, 8, 9 o'clock this morning. That day, Sherry had been left sitting in her own human waste for 31 hours, and Brianna says this has happened multiple times. And when the family calls Van Dyne to get someone to help, it goes straight to voicemail and no one calls them back. The administration itself is very difficult to speak to. I personally contacted the administrator a couple months ago and I called him every week for that entire month and I never received a return phone call. So instead, Debbie called the State Department of Health, filing at least four complaints, and she's not the only one. According to DOH records, Van Dyne has received 374 complaints from August 2017 through July 2021, leading to 89 citations, 66 more than the state average. And in June alone this year, the state investigated 25 different types of complaints, all of which the state has listed as corrected. As Sherry's family waits for the investigations into her care to be complete, her loved ones are working to get her moved to a different facility. We just put in request um, with the social worker last week. Um, so he said things are starting to open up, so maybe they'll review them um, now. And Sherry says she wants to get out. It's not now, but like right now. Hoping someone answers her plea for help. In Syracuse, Madison Moore, News Channel 9.